I don't see any charged cells. I'm gonna give it a little bit of puff of smoke and clear this out. Scrape a little bit of this so I don't smush too many bees when I close it back up. I'm gonna add two more supers to this one. What I'm going to do with this one is probably not often recommended or, or frequently recommended, but uh, especially with the weather we're having right now, James Lee with James Lee's Bees. Kicking off the 2024 season by checking on some early April honeybee colonies and their status. We've had an unusually warm start to the year. Uh, it's not been freakishly abnormal, but it's been abnormal. And some of the colonies are looking really, really good. Had a really good survival um, this year. I attribute that to some of the warm weather. Maybe some better beekeeping practices and habits, maybe queens or maybe just luck. You can pick depending on how you feel about me and my beekeeping. But um, I'm in my quote unquote quarantine yard where historically the last four, maybe five years, I haven't been able to successfully overwinter colonies. And this year I have actually been amazed by what's happening. Uh, this is the yard where I bring in colonies from swarms or cutouts or have you know genetics or issues or concerns that I'm not necessarily willing to risk putting in one of my honeybee um, yards, my larger apiaries, so they have a chance to kind of stick it out here and this is the first step in the selection process. So they come here and if they can make it through the winter, we uh, will move them over to one of the other yards and evaluate them for further selection protocols, whether I want to graft from them or make splits from them and so on and so forth. So. Um, like I said, the last few years, it's been really challenging to get bees through the winter over here. There are other beekeepers in the area, some of them, you know, making selection uh, with their particular honeybee colonies and some that are not, some that are just kind of flying by the seat of their pants. Um, but the goal is to see if these work in that setting. So let's take a look and see what we've been able to accomplish. First big reveal. Lots of propolis, really sticky. Looks like a lot of bees. I only wintered these in two medium eight frames, which is about the equivalent of a deep and a half. They had plenty of stores going into winter. Lots of pollen coming in. One, two, three, four, five, six good sized frames of bees, seams of bees. I'm gonna pull this frame here and see what the honey and nectar looks like on that colony or that frame see what the honey and nectar on this frame looks like, as well as this one. I won't mess with the brood too much, but I might take a peek here and then in between the two boxes to see what we got going on between the brood nest and I'm gonna add a couple supers. So far, no, no gloves. This frame is very, very wet. There is lots of fresh nectar in this colony. I don't have to worry about adding any food. And now my fingers are all sticky from the propolis. Very good looking colony so far. This frame is not as wet. This frame right here has got brood on the outside. No need to really mess with it any further. 
other than to show off. So let's show off a little bit. Yeah, looks really good. Let me know if you see the queen. I can't find her. I typically can't find them until it's too late. There is actually a little bit of backfilling going on here in this brood frame with the pollen. This queen is not likely marked. Um, the mark that she did have was pretty bad. Not a really great one. They are occupying both boxes. Smells really, really good. Whatever they're on smells awesome. The box overall is light. <clears throat> what do you guys see? I see drone brood. Any queen cups? Oh man, they smell fantastic. Adding two medium eight boxes full of drawn comb for that colony. They are fairly sizable. And um, come back in a couple weeks and check on them, see what they're up to. Second one we're checking. So far, no stings. Are the colonies over here though? They usually were pretty calm. The one to my right, which will be the last one, was pretty saucy at the end of the year last year. This one looks pretty good. Doesn't look like as many bees. About the same amount of seams there, five or six. Lots of propolis. This colony did the same thing last year. A good amount of propolis between the frames. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the last colony. I'm gonna check these outside frames, get a good state of the stores and check for uh, brood. Yep, this frame is really wet also. Obviously there's brood on there. Gonna check out this last frame just to see how they're doing with storage.
drones walking around. This frame is also kind of wet, really wet right here and over here. Again, it smells fantastic. Plenty of, plenty of room for storage. Uh, that bottom box is very, very, very occupied. They're going to need to have some supers added here. I'm being bitten by ants right now, that's fun. Very pleased this colony looks really, really good. We're gonna do the same thing and take a look on, take a look in underneath. <laughs> See if I can get a good, good, uh, get a good glimpse of what's going on between boxes here. really really glued together I don't see any charged cells. I'm gonna give it a little bit of puff of smoke and clear this out. Scrape a little bit of this so I don't smush too many bees when I close it back up. I'm gonna add two more supers to this one. All right, time to open these guys up. The other two, I worked without gloves and they were fine. But this one having a, I don't know, a track record for crankiness, I don't want to test it today. So we'll see how they behave when I pull this off. This one, at least by the appearance of the landing board, looks more populated than the other two. Well, they survived that terrible noise which usually gets the bees a little antsy. About five or six seams of bees here. They are moderately behaved. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna check the same frames the way that I did the others and I'll just have to report back. Okay, so here's the update. The colony has tons of propolis, so I'm glad that the gloves were on. I did get popped once because I, uh, I wished one and they were pretty assertive once I did that but they're still chill um, fairly calm there are an exceptionally large amount of bees and I did find some cups that had eggs and um, developing larvae in them that could be queen cups however some of the queen cups are mixed in with rows of drone brood and given the state of those particular cups I would say that those were more than likely drones However, there was one cup with just an egg in it, so I'm not going to take any chances. I was, um, I was adding two supers to the top, but what I'm going to do with this one is probably not often recommended or, or frequently recommended, but uh, especially with the weather we're having right now, cool nights, our temps are going to be in the 50s, 
some 60s, some 70s, uh, above average as far as the daytime is concerned, 50s and upper 40s at night for a while. And we got a rainstorm on the horizon, so they'll be locked in for quite a bit. Um, so what I did was split the brood nest, and here's why. So there is tons of pollen brood and stores, and they are definitely nectar and pollen bound in that bottom box. But because of the way that the, the hive is arranged, I'm gonna leave that particular um, box the way it is. And then I put eight empty comb that are drawn in the middle and then this was originally the top box of a stack of two. And you can see the amount of uh, bees here. I can't find the queen and I'm not gonna be too aggressive looking for her. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with splitting the brood nest. And then once I put this box back on, I will add another super of uh, drawn comb to the top of this box. They have enough bees to keep the brood nest warm both in the top and the bottom so hopefully this will communicate there's room to lay and they will hold off on any swarming tendencies that may have kicked in i'm still going to come back in and check in a week i think i may have gone through and knocked down anything that looks like it could be a swarm cell or a cup however you know with this many bees it's easy to miss so i would hate for them to swarm on me but they um they did swarm last year but this is this is a good healthy colony when they did swarm last year, they took off in that direction. I think I did a video and landed in that tree over there and I chased them over there and put them back in the same box. And uh, here they are now. So that's my plan is to uh, do something unconventional because I just feel like it's gonna be the right move at this point with this colony uh, to prevent uh, swarming and the amount of bees that are in here. I feel good about splitting the two boxes and letting them cover the empty space adequately as well as giving the queen a lot of room to lay. And that way I'll have a lot of room for splitting. I could split this colony right now and very well could have a chance at the queen mating uh, that is developed here in the next three weeks, but it's not something that I'm ready to do yet. Uh, but if they make more swarm cells when I come back in the week, I'll check back in and if, you know, find the queen and we'll turn this into a cell starter and get grafting.